Big thanks to TiVo Stream 4K for sponsoring this video. Okay, so we got an opportunity to do a video with TiVo Stream 4K. And the first thing I thought about was making an experiment, combining elements of all my favorite TV shows that you can access on TiVo Stream 4K. Because that's what TiVo Stream 4K does. It puts all of your favorite shows from all of your favorite apps all in one place. It is incredibly efficient, and that's why I think it's so awesome. So with this in mind, we're going to create a real piece of gold jewelry combining elements of all of my favorite TV shows. And the first step in this experiment is to get some real gold. And the first show that I love so much is Gold Rush on Discovery Plus. So we're gonna go out to the East Fork of the San Gabriel River, which is here in Los Angeles, and we're gonna go gold mining. First part is setting up your sluice box right here. Now, Stuart already did this. This is the, the thing that we put our raw material into. The water basically washes over all the junk that we don't want. Now, I'm gonna show you the gold that we get out of here, and we're gonna put it in a pan. The gold is in here. So what Stuart's doing here is he's taking all the material that we got out of our little mine over there, and he's putting it into our sluice box. As you can see, what happens is the big rocks roll over top and all the little dirt goes away and the gold sinks to the bottom and it sticks inside what's called V-mat. And because of a pressure differential with the water, it actually sticks to that mat. Stuart, is there any gold? A little piece. Ha ha! Sucking up all the gold. This is usually the majority of the gold. Everything else is pretty small. You can see that we got a bullet right there. It's quite a bit of gold. See all the little gold, guys? Okay, so we spent the whole day out at the river and we got less than a gram of gold. And the piece of jewelry that we're looking to make is pretty big, so we're gonna need a lot more gold. And one place that you can get cheap gold fast is a pawn shop. And we're going to the pawn shop because my other favorite show is Pawn Stars on History Channel. Okay, so we, our first stop was actually not the pawn shop, it was actually a, a Goodwill. And I wanted to go there because sometimes by a random chance, you can get actual real gold, 18 karat gold, that ends up there. So we found these two pieces. One's actually sterling silver, we think. <laughs> I wanna take this to the pawn shop and see what they say, like what this is. And then if it is in fact valuable at all, even if it's 10 bucks, we'll apply that to our purchase at the pawn shop as a negotiating point. So it'll be kind of a nice little experiment within an experiment to see what we can get at the pawn shop. So this is what we're thinking. We're at the pawn shop right now. Here's some scrap stuff that might make sense. It's 14 karat, so it's not pure gold, but if we get enough of this, we could maybe make two molds, or we could use this and mix it with the 24 that we already have since that's more pure stuff. All right, so Sean has gone in the back and they have got a bunch of gold for us. This is about, how much gold is this? This is about an ounce of gold right here. Oh my good Lord. The real question is, how much is this gonna cost? Best I could do, 850. Not a dollar less. Well, I bought this stuff at the Goodwill. Um, that looks like Goodwill stuff. <laughs> All right, you know what? He knows his stuff more than I do. 850, that's where we're gonna stand. Let's do it. Let's do it. Perfect. All right, we're rich. Basically, we got all the gold we need. Plenty enough. I feel like a pirate. <laughs> Yar. Legit. And finally, in honor of one of my all-time favorite shows, Forged in Fire, which you can now see on Netflix, we're gonna smelt all of that gold with this little electric smelter right here, and we're going to make a piece of gold jewelry. Okay, gold melts at around 1,064 degrees Celsius. And so that's what we're gonna plug into our machine to make sure it gets up to temperature. However, our gold is not actually pure gold, it's 10 karat gold. So it's right around 41.7% gold. However, the gold that we mine for is probably closer to 24 karat. So we're still gonna plug in the higher number to make sure that we can melt all of the material that we have in order to actually get all the gold completely melted. Now, because this entire experiment was inspired by TiVo Stream 4K, we're gonna make our piece of gold jewelry in the shape of the TiVo logo, which is so awesome. Now, we had this graphite ingot custom made, which I think is almost as impressive as this entire experiment itself. We had this special piece of graphite CNC'd for us at Electrotech Machining. Now, this process is incredible to watch as the machine just cuts away the graphite so easily. 
Graphite gets stronger the hotter it gets, up to about 2,500 degrees Celsius, which is why it's the perfect material for us to pour molten gold into. Safety, number one priority. First thing we are going to do. I'm rich. Now we've already tempered our graphite crucible. We brought it up to 300 degrees Celsius and then let it air cool. That's because you don't really want it to have this like shock the first time you ever use it and then it cracks. This is a way of sort of extending the life of the crucible itself. So we've already done that once. So it is time to melt this bad boy down. We're gonna turn this up, set. One more, come on, come on, come on, come on! What are you waiting for? Ah! Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no! I didn't pour it right. Oh, it's all splotchy, too. I'm looking so good, it's just not there yet. I mean, we're getting there. I will get you soon. Four number three. Oh, it was so perfect that he's thinking of his legs. Oh man, it's so good. We just did not get his legs. Okay, the first pour, horrible. I didn't understand that the gold was going to pour so quickly and I overshot the actual mold itself. Second one, we got the face, which is pretty cool. Third one, we got the face and the antennas. It's looking great. The problem is we ran out of gold. We didn't have enough gold uh, for the legs. But I thought about this and I actually bought some extra gold online beforehand because I wasn't sure if we were actually gonna have enough. It's like what jewelers use when they make solid gold things like rings and earrings and that kind of stuff. So we're gonna add this to the mix and we're gonna get that full TiVo symbol. All right guys, we're gonna put this back in. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Son of a <laughs> I think that's gonna be the one. We're gonna clean that bad boy up. Gold cools off so quickly. Jeez. Acid. Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. We made a gold TiVo symbol. Now it doesn't have legs because we ran out of gold. We just didn't have any more gold to actually fill in this portion. I'm really stoked. I could make this into a pendant, into a necklace perhaps. I just think it's so great at my first attempt at goldsmithing that we got this. Now because we mixed the gold, it's probably closer to 14 karat at this point. Also, this is the most gold I've ever held in my life. This is, this is about $2,000 worth of gold. This this whole video and this symbol was inspired by my favorite shows that you can access all in one place on TiVo Stream 4K. Let me know in the comment section what else we should make with gold. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you really soon. TiVo,